Point. My legs are, are showing up mainly. Smaller the legs, bigger the penis. It's all relative, man. Operation Dad Bod in the house. Seth, what's up, bro? How much? 23 pounds down, man. That's like, he lost like a four year old child. Literally, lost like a four year old child. You lost your facial hair, too. What happened? I got bored with it. How'd know. you get bored with it? And you just get a point it's where you gotta like comb it and all this other stuff, and you're just like, eh. I just don't take care of myself. It's called the flavor saver, dude. But anyway, enough about that. These do resemble dental dams, don't they? You know Colton didn't know what a dental dam was? If you're with a girl who you need a dental dam with, probably not the kind of girl you should be going and doing that with, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're gonna just get going. We got a chest day today, but we're gonna do a lot of unilateral stuff. Like we're starting to introduce some more complicated things work off some body issues because when you're like let's say when you have um when you haven't trained in a while your body tends to overcompensate for example if you have a bigger stomach your back's gonna have issues and that'll create imbalances in the lower back the hips and all that so our thing is with every day from shoulder day to chest day to arm day to whatever we want to activate things so i'm going to show you just a quick little warm-up just get the shoulders going now you know we use these on our legs these are the mini bands these are my mini bands I made these, they have the little, I like the medium for this. Medium or light, because we're not trying to really get a workout in here. But you can do a lot of different things. One is this forces you to push out with your shoulders. You go here, you can also do cool things like this, where you go forward, go back. Go forward, go back. Three, two, and it also acts as a plank, getting everything in order. And if you want to get really crazy, three, Four, five. One, two, this is burning by the way. <laughs> kind of like what we need a dental dam for. Okay, <laughs> so what I want you to do, you're gonna start out, we'll see if you can do it first. Start out with regular pushes. Give me five. Two, three, four, five. All right, take a little break. We're just gonna go through a round of these, man. We're not gonna, we don't wanna, we just wanna make sure your shoulders are ready. Then we're gonna go forward with it. One, two, three, four, five. Other arm, one. You need to spread your legs a little bit, balance. And this also activates your entire core. Again, warm ups, pillar prep, we're looking to prep. We're not looking to destroy. Because your shoulders gotta feel a little. Wow, yeah. there they are. All right, so this again, you're activating your entire girdle, your entire core, everything's getting worked. You're not sitting there like, eh, eh, I hate those, I just had, they're boring to me. See the guys with the rope, I'm warming up. Like that looks a little bit too masturbatory for me. Okay, so, then we're gonna take this, we're gonna go side to side. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So there's our upper body warm-up, we've got our core activated. A lot of y'all don't have time for a 40 minute warm-up. That gets it going. Again, these bands are available on Tiger Fitness. These are really dope. Again, if there's one tool you take with you if you go on a trip, you do upper body with this, lower body, from squats to lateral and linear, um, Whatever the fuck they're called, I'm blanking. <laughs> um, mini band work, mini band for your legs. Uh, that's why they don't have a name, it's called mini bands. I call them mini bands. Um, these are awesome. So, again, I sell mine. Skills make some, perform better makes some. Mine are cool because they have the different levels of resistance labeled and they come in a pack where they're all in there. So you see what that is. So anyway, my shoulders are warmed up. Start with some chest, go from regressions to progressions, a little bit of fatigue. Throw in a little shoulder work at the end for stability, and that's it. But, let's go over your diet, man. How you feeling, man? Feeling pretty solid. Okay. There are some things that, I mean, not necessarily diet-wise, uh, that are starting to creep in. I'm losing the weight and stuff, but something I've always struggled with is that, like, you see yourself in the mirror and you still see 20 pounds ago. I mean, I could probably be 180 pounds and I'll still... Yeah. And that, that creeps in some days because it's like, and that stresses you out, and then you have the thought of, you know, stressing or something like that. Be good with it, usually I'll just have an outright bar. Okay. But, uh, 
it's really the only only big issue on that is you know I'm still relatively you know I have moments of hunger here and there but I'm still well fed. You're gonna be hungry. Yeah. It is what it is. As far as the mental aspect, that hits me. Yeah. That hits everybody. Um, it's just human nature. I mean, you're always gonna have some dysmorphia in the mirror. There are some people who just think they're awesome. Those are usually douchebags. Yeah. So you're just, I mean, it's just, you know, you, you see that old self, but I mean, that's why pictures are great. Because if you put a picture side by side, you start to notice. That's, that's one reason we do pictures, yeah. you know. I don't, I don't, not that I don't enjoy it, but looking at your, your pictures every week doesn't get my jollies. Yeah. But it gives us a reference point for before, and, you know, starting yeah. and where we're at and where we're gonna finish, which really you never finish. That's the thing, it's like 12 weeks to the best you ever. What they always fail to leave out is, keeping it off. Yeah. So our goal is to keep progressing. So we have a pretty interesting day and we learn some new movements. Um, let's get going. All right. Step one of the progression will be a single arm dumbbell bench press. So you're gonna do one arm at a time, your back's gonna be flat against the bench. Just like a normal bench press, this arm's free. Put it wherever you want. Dig your feet into the ground, come down. Two. So this forces you to activate your glute and also make sure both sides are worked independently and it prevents imbalances. Start light. on almost the end because you want to be able to dig your feet in. I messed up on the first set. Different bench line. Press it up, good. So get 80 charm. We're gonna slowly go down in reps, go up in weight. Then we're gonna go to a progression of this. And we're gonna do a different movement. Nice, go ahead next time sit up. Because when we get heavier, you're going to drop the weight on your face. Fair enough. That's not good. We haven't paid our insurance this time. It's always a good habit to get into when you set the weight correctly. Stable one arm chest press. Essentially, what you want to do, this is my butt crack. In case y'all were wondering, my butt crack starts right here. So I'm going to take my butt crack and put it right where this is literally splitting my butt crack. That'll get us an extra thousand 
thousand views. <laughs> I'm splitting my butt cheek. So anyway, you're gonna come down and you're gonna just lay back as flat as you can. Half your body is off the bench. This arm is free. This leg is gonna be tight. You're gonna have to flex the glute. You're just basically gonna press in this position. So half your body's off the bench. That's gonna recruit all this. It's gonna recruit all this. Get your hamstring into play. And uh, it basically turns a chest press into the most epic full body core workout you've ever done while putting more tension on your pectoral muscle than any bench press, machine press, fly, crossover, push up will ever do. It's simple. I know a lot of people are Mark, you've lost your mind, you're a hippie. But think about it, man. You're activating everything. So again, it's all about progressions. We warmed up the brain with the bands, warmed up the shoulders with the bands, warmed up the muscle with the unilateral, and now we're gonna get all funky. Because we already activated a lot of this doing single arm, and now we're activating all of it. Always start with a pinky, kids. Always start with a pinky. So that was like, the bands were like the pinky. Then we moved up to, um, moved up to like a couple fingers, and now we're full fist in it. unconventional, unorthodox lifts is that they activate more stuff. And we're not looking at just getting big, we're looking at getting healthy and stronger and feeling better. And the key to a healthy lower back, one of the main keys is to be able to activate your glutes. So everything we do, we want to be able to tie in some glute activation. You know, not just for aesthetics, but just for overall, just feeling good, right? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> is this cultural misappropriation? <laughs> Wrapped up to the top. <laughs> How am I supposed to do a set with that shit? <laughs> this motherfucker over here. <laughs> He's had one too many outright bars. He's gone to his head. I hate to say you're half-assing it right now. Get it? Half. Get it? He's half-assing it. <laughs> oh man. Too much coming. <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's go. Come on. So spotting these, come right on the side. Because it's easy to spot. You shouldn't need it, give me four. Good, pick up. Come on man, that was jokes, man. First I used the airplane reference, now this. I'm on fire! Right, plant that left leg, let's go. One more. No, 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 that's it. I can't count. I just fucked you up. Alright. <laughs> so now, keep the 65 on. Let's go ahead. And we're gonna do two sets of an isometric single arm press. It's gonna be bilateral. So balance is it balance is still gonna be an issue. But your time under tension is gonna be huge. Rep range is three to six reps each arm. Um, I keep it there because if you fatigue, you're already fatigued. You've already done a lot of volume. People don't see that, but that's a lot of volume. A lot of, lot of nerves. People always think about physical, physical exhaustion. When you're doing unilateral stuff, there's a lot of neurological exhaustion. So people come in, you can only do so many unilateral movements that require that kind of focus and that kind of heavy weight before not only do you physically start to exhaust, but you mentally start to exhaust. Two sets of this. It's kind of the clincher. Um, after this, you can literally go home, but there's some other things we're gonna throw in here. But what we're gonna do is just simply grab the dumbbells, pull them up, boom. Uh, make sure to lift with your legs, not your back. You lift with them, just get the shit on your waist, right? And if you have a partner, have them hand it to you. So anyway, check it out. Come back. You're gonna put both of them up. One at a time. One. One. 
So I get a lot of people who watch too many damn smart people on YouTube ask me about time under tension. I don't give a shit about time under tension. If you hold a weight in the air, you can be under tension for a while. All right, let's go. Stupid. I'm just gonna like time and attention's good, but I've literally seen people with stop watches timing their partners, dude. I couldn't have fun. Like, you want some time under tension? Do an activity like this. There's your TUT. Do slow controlled reps. Do you think your body knows the difference between 402 and 413? No, nobody fucking cares. Stop overthinking things. Just get in, control the weight, lift the weight, progressive overload, go home. So a lot of people do cable crossovers, and I like cable crossovers, but I think you're missing a lot of the, a lot of the, the components that would make it awesome. And one thing I learned when I was doing Exos, they do a lot of rotary, right? Boom, boom, because think about it, when you golf, yeah. when you golf, what are you doing? Rota rotational. When you throw a baseball, what are you doing? Rotational. Okay, when you swing a baseball bat, rotate. What if we were to combine the two and have some stabilization rotationally with some crossovers? What if it worked our core too? So, you know, obviously this is something that I'm not, I didn't invent these, but they're awesome. So you come in here, put your hand wherever you want. I usually just feel, I like feeling, hey, I got abs, you know? Come in, squeeze. Also with a cable as opposed to a dumbbell, you have no resting point. So you can see all this shit activating right here. But there's no point in this movement where my chest isn't completely activated. Usually I like to keep that range, rep range between 8 and 12 or until I get bored. But I'll go pretty heavy on these because I want to stimulate. I want to stimulate the hell out of my pecs and I want to stimulate my core. So my thing is if we're doing chest, why not do core too? Yeah. There you go. Very stupid joint. It's injured a lot. 
So we're gonna get down, put a pad down. I found that out the hard way. My knees are not meant for hard force. So anyway, take it, come here, dig your toe, your back toe into the ground for stability. This all gonna be activated right here. So your knee, where well, your knee is down, that's the active arm. So you come here, stabilize. One. Down. These I keep to three to five reps because it takes a lot of neural activity. Everything going on, again, it's not just physical, it's neural as well. And again, I'll take this over a standing overhead any day of the week because the stabilization factor and because you get to put your shoulder in a place that it's more, most naturally comfortable for you. If that's too heavy, we'll grab. It might be. Yeah. Yeah, the balance part. And up, drop it. Yeah. Hold on. Start with tens. Tens ain't bad. Here we go. Let's get ready for it. service announcement if you if you like if you agree with your man to have a threesome okay it's fast it's fast scientifically proven don't bring your hot friend bring the slightly less don't give me the ugly friend because that's just insulting bring the slightly less attractive friend you know like if you're an eight bring like a six and a half you got to go at least a point and a half under. If you're a four, you got, okay, that's going to be a two, but that's, you know, whatever. But if, if, if you're like an eight and you bring a nine, just messed up your relationship, man. It's not going to work. It's called the point and a half theory. The point and a half theory is real, man. It's real, but that's what we learned here. So <laughs> we're all done with our workout today and there was no puking this week. So we've been, but again, it wasn't like day. And you ate here, right? Yeah, we and I, I went, cause I've been taking ruckus lately, and I took, I, I don't do as much morning stuff, and I took that and didn't, so I think the combination There's of There's a lot of caffeine in there, man. So today I did one of those ready to drink C4s. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah. A little less caffeine. Ruckus, you need, ruckus, you need some food on your stomach, man. Yeah. It's a lot of, even though it's dispersed, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff going on there, man. But I, I love that. See, nice. and that's the thing is that even me, it's like, my pre-workout gives me, you know, makes me poop. I'm like, well, yeah, it does. It's, it's a stimulant. stimulant. Yeah. That's the thing I've known. I remember when, uh, when I was a kid, I remember my mom's friend telling me that she drinks coffee in the morning because it gets her going. She said, you know what I mean? I had no idea what she meant. But now I realize it meant that it helps you take yeah. a shit. Um, gets everything moving. Because stimulants don't just stimulate your central nervous system. They stimulate yeah. everything, including your bowels, et cetera, et cetera. So our goal, so your diet is pretty, our diet is pretty much it. We got over this like diabetic exchange, but it's also flexible, Seth's on the road. He knows to make wise choices. Um, he even post, I, I posted a Subway meal I eat, and that's a good choice. Even though your macros aren't gonna be measured out directly, yeah. they're gonna be within 50 to 100 calories of your normal meal. Yeah. Um, you, normally I say when eating out, don't worry about the fat. If you keep it low fat when you're dieting, as long as you don't do it every meal, let's say meal, let's say you're, you're, you're due for a meal, or you, you're hungry, and there's a subway. Just don't purposely add fat. Don't add almonds, don't yeah. add oil. Just go low fat. You'll make up for it the rest of the day, you know what I mean? And there's trace in chicken, so it's not gonna be bad. The goal with dieting is not to, is to undershoot a little bit. I'm not talking severely undershoot, but you know, but if you're bulking, you can go a little bit over, you know what I mean? So it's, it depends on goals, but you're able to go out and live a, a, a you're a road warrior, you know, and have your prep meals and have you know, things like that, but have your bars, have your shakes, but also be able to adapt to your lifestyle. So <clears throat> the goal is to make this as easy as easy for his life. And honestly, after losing 23 pounds, the fact that you're not starving at this point shows that we're doing something right. Yeah. 
And um, the fact that he's able to unilaterally press 15 pounds more in an unbalanced fashion than he did with two arms when you started. I broke out 30 because that was that first time we did the 45 step and then yeah, I had to drop to 30 because I, 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 yeah, I just couldn't. That was hang. a rough day. <laughs> that was a rough day, but you got it done. So, again, the goal is we're going to start introducing more functional. I hate to say functional because everything you do in the gym is functional. Like, what is functional? What does that even mean? Um, we're going to start introducing more unilateral um, health based movements for overall body physiological health. And we're also going to keep decreasing calories as needed. Um, we'll work in free meals as you get leaner because yeah. psychologically, and also you're going to be hungry. And, and also, like, who doesn't want to eat their old favorite foods once in a while? Uh, but they're not going to be planned. I'm not going to be like, hey, Saturday at 4 p.m., I need you to eat 100 grams of carbs. Be like, hey, Plan on going out with your family this weekend? Yeah, we actually had a dinner plan Sunday. All right, eat whatever you want off the menu, just keep it free. I always say keep it free, keep it free. Get a normal appetizer, get a normal dinner, just don't change it. Don't like yeah. go no butter, no blah, 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 just order a fucking meal. And then a dessert. Keep it free, keep it three. Don't go to a buffet, because Golden Corral can screw you up in many ways. Um, that, 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 that's, that's an entire chain based on completely GMO foods. <laughs> so if you love GMOs, go to Golden Corral. They have, um, you know what they have at the Golden Crowd? They got those biscuits. Those biscuits are ridiculous. They got the biscuits. It's a southern based uh, chain. Um, yeah, those, those, are, those are good. Yeah, one thing I definitely do miss though. Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits? No, is Chinese food buffets. Oh, uh, dude, you can't. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had any. No. Yeah, if you, but you can go to Chinese food. Yeah. If I said you couldn't eat Chinese food, that made me a racist. And it, with Trump crossing over the line of the DMZ, I can't be caught in that. Because even Trump's not racist against Asian people. So I don't want to be caught up in that. Trump, <laughs> now that Trump did it, first it was Dennis Rodman. Like we thought Dennis Rodman was the only one. And the orange guy goes over there and it's like, what's going on? See, I think it has to do with, you have to have that obscure color. He's orange, Dennis Rodman has like the green and yellow hair. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah, I think, um, man, I'm getting too political here. It's funny to me though. It's funny to me like, I think I like how he, you know, you know, I saw the video. I like how he just like looked around, right, strolled over, like, what's up, North Korea? He just like, he just strolled, he was like, what's up, what's up, I'm going to North Korea. And then, and then the, the, the little dude, Yao, what's his name? Yao Ming, not Yao Ming, Kim Jong un came over, and Trump's like seven feet tall. People don't realize how tall Trump is. Yeah, and he's, and he's like this tall. And Trump does that on purpose, because he'll look down and shake their hand, he controls the handshake. It's it's amazing yeah. how he does that, his body language, but he knows he's tall, he does that to that his advantage. It was funny, but enough about Donald Trump. Donald J. That's Trump. That's the, the one thing I, I enjoy about is that we, I mean, we don't talk much about it, but we have different different opinions on things here and there, but we can talk about it lightheartedly and not get that out of shape and tweet and get you know, angry at each other. You know, that's, that's what America used to be. Yeah. America used to be like, hey, you're a Democrat, ha ha. You know, now it's like, you're going to hell, you hate black people. It's like, wait a second, because I'm, I'm, I'm an independent. Yeah, same, same, I'm a, yeah. Ever. So I call it down the middle. I'm certain, I'm very socially, uh, you call me socially liberal? And then, um, and I'm fiscally, fiscally conservative. conservative. There, yeah, that's, that's more of how I like. I hate saying libertarian, because that's even taken on its own meaning now. Well, libertarians don't even know what they are. No. Libertarians are talking, well, there's, abortion's one issue, you can use an example. Ron Paul libertarians believe it's an act of aggression. Yeah. Whereas, uh, non rat the other guys, tend to think that it's a woman's right. So they can't even come to a consensus. So libertarians aren't gonna ever win shit. Let's be real. That's, yeah. And that's what sucks, is it's like... They're the closest to my belief system. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, but, but, but you gotta be able to look at it like, I, I like, Obama, right? Like, I did very well during the Obama years. I didn't like a lot of his policies. I didn't like the fact healthcare rose my cost 48% yeah. for a company. But overall, I, I don't, he, the world didn't end. What? Trump, as I love him or hate him, like, the, does, I always ask people, what how, what has changed your day to day? And my, the thing is, is, I feel like people put too much emphasis that the president has a huge outcome on your life. The president is one person, has no control over Check what you balance. do. Yeah, and, and but, but what you do on a day to day basis. Because Trump signed a bill doesn't mean you have to be a dick to somebody else. Yeah, and, or, and or like, you have to put one thing, is like, one person does not have the power to control everything, even though he's the president, because that's why they have the check and balance. I disagree. I think The Rock. 
could definitely control. If The Rock tweeted, I want everybody to go to Chicago Square and I want you all to just start rioting, I bet you they would. Tell me The Rock couldn't do that. I would love to, not the riot part, but I'd love to see The Rock as president. Not for anything like, well, you know The Rock's outcome. conservative. Yeah, the Rock's I'd love to see. Can you imagine him versus Putin? Can you imagine that conversation? Shut your mouth, you're running. Or, or just the take your new, like, yeah. turn them sideways. <laughs> yes. Enough about that, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go. We go on for days. Anyway, um, this video is officially over 90 minutes. Anyway, guys, follow Seth on Instagram. Uh, Seth D. Conklin. Yeah. Seth D. Conklin. I always remember the D. Always, always, always puts out the D. Um, follow him on Instagram. He posts a lot of cool stuff about his day to day, how this diet's going. Um, link down below is the playlist for Operation Dad Bod. Uh, so far, couldn't have asked for better success. That's just me, just that's not me really bragging. That's just saying that, look, it, it, this shows that you don't need any fancy, you know, carnivore, keto, vegan diet. You just need good old fashioned hard work and common sense. So that's that, guys. Until next time.